Episode 1, Hire and Fire. Management concept, managers must be ambitious and oriented toward problem solving. SpongeBob begins his first day of work at the Krusty Krab. He is first called into the office of his boss, Mr. Krabs, and is given a quick introduction as to what is expected from his employees. SpongeBob quickly learns of Mr. Krabs' autocratic management style and realizes that his want for money supersedes the wants and needs of his employees. However, he is in desperate need of this job to quit already. SpongeBob chooses to employ a positive attitude and carries it with him as he now joins his co-worker Squidward in the kitchen for training. The Krusty Krab runs their authoritative power based off of the Y theory where power is distributed from Mr. Krabs through management and trickling down to the rest of the employees. After SpongeBob has completed his first week of training, it is now time for him to manage the kitchen by himself. It just so happens that his first official week on the job also coincides with Comic-Con Weekend, where all comic fans from Bikini Bottom and the nearby cities of Westeros and Hogsmeade come to celebrate their fandom. Since the Krusty Krab has high-quality food for a reasonable price, it is evident that the convention attendees will choose to stop there for nourishment. SpongeBob is new to the kitchen and therefore is not proficient at all the recipes. Comic-Con attendees come pouring into the Krusty Krab and SpongeBob quickly becomes flooded with orders. In order to prevent customers from leaving the restaurant due to inefficiency, which will result in the loss of revenue, Mr. Krabs begins to yell at SpongeBob in an effort to make him work faster. This quickly proves to not be the correct way to control employees within the management process, and SpongeBob loses focus and the grill becomes ignited with flames. After the fire inspector came to assess damages to the kitchen, Mr. Krabs calls SpongeBob into his office. After a long night of pondering, Mr. Krabs chooses to apologize to SpongeBob, recognizing that the fire was partially his fault due to the immense amount of pressure he was putting on SpongeBob to complete those orders quickly. Worrying about losing a few customers turned out to make him lose more money through expenses that incurred due to the fire damages. Mr. Krabs ultimately decided that he would no longer behave this way in an effort to keep his employees happy.